Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome to another English class here on Zoom. As you may know, I'm Mr. Palomo, and I will be here teaching you another English class here on Zoom. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is class number 10, right? This is section number four. On this beautiful day, which is Tuesday, it's a rainy day, as you may know, it's fantastic. I love it. The weather is nice, right? We don't have no money. <laughs> we don't have money. <laughs> but we're still alive, right? Happy as usual. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your effort. I know that you want to be in bed, right, with your blankets, like sleeping. But here you are, hearing my terrible voice and trying to teach you something else, right? Trying to help you out with this thing that is called learning English. Okie dokie. Thank you so much for being here, people. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Oh, this is class number 10. Class number 10, right? Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, just give me a minute. Oh, yes, just give me a minute. This is class number 10. Just give me a minute because I want to do something here. Okay. Okay, thank you. No. <gasps> oh. So long. Okay. Let's hear. Wait a minute. Uh -huh. Then I hit number 10. Yes, I fixed that. It's just fixing something here. Just, just give me one minute. Okay. Also, I need to get your names. Oh, by the way. Oh, it's a beautiful day, people. Yeah, it's wonderful. So it's nice to see you one more time. And I wish everybody is okay at home, happy, and ready to learn, right? We have Tuesday, uh, July 4th, right? In the U.S., what is the celebration they having in the U.S.? Mm -hmm. It's a holiday for them, right? What are, what are they celebrating in the U.S., Pedro Ramirez? What are the people from the U.S.? celebrating today. Any idea? Any idea, uh, Pedro? So we can get the visa, right, as soon as possible. Yeah, so uh, so you can get from familiar with the context. Xiomara, que se celebra en los United States today? Xiomara. Mm-hmm. Acción de gracias, teacher. Oh, no, no, no. Ese es en no. noviembre. Es en noviembre. La eh, no, perdón. La independencia. Exactly. El 4 de julio. Independence Day. Independence Day. Very good, right? ¿Sí? Ahí sale una movie. Creo que hay dos movies de Independence Day, right? So we have aliens and a bunch of people killing each other, right? Yeah. Be Mel Gibson. Oh, yes. Oh, that's another one. Patriot, I guess that's the name, right? Patriot. Yeah, that's a good mm -hmm. one. That's a good one. Yeah, people in the U.S. are celebrating uh, Independence Day, right? Fourth um, of July, for July. So that's what they're celebrating. So again, welcome. It's nice to have you. This is class number ten, as you may know. Oh my gosh! Espérame que ya me pasé. I'm sorry. Okay, aquí vamos. Vamos en la number ten. Okay, this is section number four. Whose genes are these? Vamos a hablar un poquito de possessive adjectives. Esta cosa es beautiful. It's a professional audio. Okay. ¿Me escuchan bien at home? Yes? Yes. Sonidos around, yeah? Yes? Perfect, yeah. perfect. Stephanie, Carolina, how are you? You good? Mm -hmm. Yes? Hi, teacher. I am Welcome. fine. 
Welcome. Do you like La Selecta Cuscatleca? Mm -hmm. Do you yes. know that thing? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely shame. Absolutely shame. Yeah. I'm sorry for you. Como dice la, la Doña Nurka, right? I'm sorry for you. But, um, yeah. Ya perdimos contra Costa Rica. <laughs> Otra vez para casa, right? Yeah. Ya no negaron la visa, right? Yeah. Nothing else we can do. Yeah. Just get back. Get back to work here. <laughs> Yes, yes, I'm sorry. Solo nos quedan los, los centroamericanos, right? So we can enjoy those. Yes, yes. On, on, on Friday, I think, tenemos pues a sueto, right? I guess. Para los que trabajamos, that's a good thing. Van a estar, las calles van a estar un poquito solas on Friday. Okay, so, yes, so you can take the walk out for a walk. That would be nice. Okay, let me take the attendance. Thank you so much. When you hear your beautiful name, say, I'm here or present. Ana Marina Cáceres. Ana Marina Cáceres. Ana Xiomara. Present. Present. Thank you so much. Ángel León. Ángel León. No, okay. Blanca Cerón. No. Carlos Nerio. No. Carmen Romero. No. Eh, Claudia Paredes. Present. Thank you so much, Claudia. Good evening. Nice to see you one more time. Eh, Dalia Hernández. Dalia Hernández. No. Okiroki. David Cepeda. David? Okay, let's carry on with Eva Ordonez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much, Eva. Good evening and welcome. Griselda Estrada. Griselda Estrada. No? Okay. Um, Hugo Orellana. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Welcome. Uh, Johnny. Pineda. Johnny Pineda. No? Okay. Jose Hernandez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much, Jose. Welcome. Karina Hernandez. I'm here, teacher. Good evening, Karina. Katy Guzman. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much, Katy. Uh, Kenya Romero. I'm here. Perfect, Kenya. Thank you so much. Uh, Marvin Cordova. Marvin Cordova. Okay. Thank you. Um, Melissa. Present. Thank you so much. Moises Rodas. I'm here. Perfect. Richard. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I Eh, soy Carmen. Yo creo que ya me había pasado lista. Perdón que me conecté un poquito tarde. That's okay, Carmen. No problem. Carmen Elizabeth Romero. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much, Carmen. Let's carry on with um, Pedro Ramírez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Pedro. Good evening. Welcome. Ricardo Flores. No? Okay. Oh, Ricardo. Present. Thank you so much, Ricardo. Bueno, bueno. Rosa Moreno. Present. Thank teacher. you so much, Rosa. Good evening. Rosa Barrientos. Present. Thank you, Rosa. Good evening. Rosario del Carmen Rivas. Present. De Molina. Thank you so much. Es Zaira Carrillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Welcome, Saira. Stephanie Carolina. Stephanie? Okie dokie. Let's carry on with Valeria Gomez. Present teacher. Thank you, sorry. Valeria. Good evening. No, soy Stephanie. Oh, Stephanie, I'm sorry. Disculpa, <laughs> soy un problema con el micrófono. Oh, that's okay. No problem. Valeria? Valeria Gomez? Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Valeria. Thank you. Nancy Alvarado. Sí, 
I'm here, teacher. Yes, yes, welcome. And Jenny de la Concepción Urbina. I'm here. Oh, that's very good. Everybody's here, ready to learn something new, right? Yes, I will be helping you out with this thing that is called learning English. Claudia Paredes. Yes, Claudia, pero ahorita le tomo la attendance, Claudia. Solo deme un minuto, Paredes. Ahí está, ahí está. Thank you so much, Claudia. Again, welcome, everybody. I really appreciate your effort. I know that you want to be in bed, right? But uh, you're here. You're here in class number 10. And we're going to work with possessive adjectives today. That is the thing we are going to work today. Okay, so let's begin. Let's begin. We have a short video that is on also on the platform, but we are going to have it here so you can so you can remember how this thing goes. Let's listen and read. No se escucha. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to use possessives in order to describe the long end of things. If you recall the conversation, it's a disaster, which you learned on your previous lesson. You heard how this topic is used. Uh, let me quickly show you that conversation dialogue and I'll point out the possessives in action. For example, if you notice the conversation, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? Is it yours? No, it's not mine. I'm going to go ahead and grade those possessives that I want to emphasize on. In order to understand this topic, it's important that you understand the difference between possessive adjectives and pronouns and how they are used. So I'm going to draw a little chart to illustrate that. As you can see on this chart, if I talk about I, I will use the possessive adjective my and mine. If I talk about you, I will need to use your and yours. If I talk about he, I will need to use his and his. If I talk about she, I will need to use her and hers. If I talk about it, I will need to use it and it. If I talk about we, I will need to use our and ours. If I talk about they, I will need to use their and theirs. The next thing to understand about this topic is when exactly you use my or mine, for example. In order to explain that, I would like for you to look at the example on the screen. These are his socks. These socks are his. We want to keep the same example. So the first rule to learn is you will use possessive adjectives whenever the object is at the end of your sentence. For example, these are his socks. 
the object is socks. This is your umbrella. The object is umbrella. This is her car. The object is car. And now, um, let me point out what I mean by object. Socks. Umbrella. And car. Now, you will use possessive pronouns whenever the object is at the beginning of the sentence or not mentioned at all. Let's work with the same examples to make sure that we don't get lost. These socks are his. This umbrella is mine. This car is hers. It's mine. The object, I'm going to grade out. And as you can see, the object is at the beginning, not at the end, as our previous example. The last thing that I would like to explain is how we can use contractions to express possessives. As you can see on the chart, under names, Pat's blouse, Julie's jeans, Rex's t-shirt. The apostrophe as means possessive. Whenever we say Pat's blouse, we are saying the blouse of Pat. However, we normally don't express the blouse of Pat. Instead, we use the contraction or the apostrophe S. Now it's your turn to give as many examples as possible. Talk about your possessions and the possessions of your friends, relatives, and coworkers. For example, my car is black. The black car is mine. My uh, wife's dress is blue. The blue dress is hers. My co-workers computer is white. His computer is white. Is white. His computer is okay. So pretty much, look, we ha we have in this video is tenemos tres formas de indicar posesivos, okay. Para indicar possession, tenemos tres formas. Tenemos adjectives, tenemos pronouns, y tenemos los pronouns. names donde les ponemos una apostrofe, una cosa esa, no sé cómo se llama. Es una apostrofe, right? Um, y eso indica posesión. Después de la apostrofe y una es, pues ponemos el objeto que le pertenece. Y es, yes. ¿cuál va a ocupar usted? Bueno, el que usted quiera, right? Depende del context. Yes. Si usted va a ocupar un name de alguien, pues vaya con el apóstrofe y la S. ¿Ok? Entonces yo puedo decir Oswaldo's computer. Yo puedo decir Carmen's computer. Yo puedo decir Hugo's computer. Ana's computer. Karina's computer. Right? So, si yo ocupo un name, siempre voy a ir con el apostrofe es porque es más easy you know what I mean es más easy right yes to indicate possession este que tenemos aquí esta, esta palabra who siempre va a ser para 
possessive. Ok, siempre va a ir con possessive. Este whose. Después del whose va a ir el objeto. Mire, blouse, jeans, aquí le podemos poner computer, I don't know, cell phone, right? Y luego el verb to be. Acuérdese que el verb to be tenemos singular en plural. Yes. Si ustedes cuentan la tres whose. Yes. Osvaldo. Is or are. Ajá, depende. Si está hablando de algo plural, vamos con are. Si uh -huh. está hablando de algo singular, you go with, with singular. Ok, so. Um, aquí tenemos clouds, solo es uno. Jeans, pues el jeans siempre va a ser plural, right? Ok. Uh -huh. Pero en el caso, pues que usted encuentre algo plural, right? Pues usted puede decir, oh, are these, right? Yes. Y aquí en los examples, como los tenemos acá, right? Así es como usted practica, if you notice. My car is black, the black car is mine. Esto con los, el primero es con possessive, ok, my, y el segundo es con el pronoun, possessive pronoun. Aquí ya tenemos my wife, y vamos, mire, un apóstrofe y una es, yes, right, dress is blue, and then, aquí voy otra vez con el pronoun. Los pronoun normalmente siempre van a ir al final. Si usted se fija, mire la structure here. Pues siempre van al final, right? Most of the time. Para indicar possession. Y pues los adjectives. Este, por ejemplo, my puede ir siempre al principio. My name is. Ok. Your name is. Her name is. Ok. His name is. Our class is. Their names. Entonces, esto yo lo puedo poner ya sea al principio o lo puedo poner en medio, la like dice example here. Yes, como el ejemplo de acá. Yes, pero estos que están acá, sí, en la mayoría de casos, always, most of the time, van a ir siempre al final. Ok, right? So, this is the way we indicate possessives in English. Okay. ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Any question? Any question about this? Uh, yeah. uh, da, da. Ahora, ¿cómo se aprende esto? Easy. Easy right. like. It's by practicing. Yes. Así se aprende esto. By practicing. Ok. No hay otra forma. That's the only way. Yes. That you can learn that this way. Right. Uh, los que son un poquito más difíciles son estos. Right. Because mine, yours, repítalo, Simara. Mine, yours, his, his hers, hers, ours, ours, theirs. Theirs. Exactly, right. So those are the difficult. These ones are the ones that we use a lot. Yes, right? That is mine, your, his, her. Are there. Let's, hey. let's have here we have again the same information is quite the same. Okay, it's nothing like really big about it. Right. Uh, but just just keep in mind, like this is the way we do. Here we have more examples. Yes. Ayúdeme Hugo a leer estos examples here, please. Thank you. My umbrella. Our umbrella, your umbrella, his umbrella, her umbrella, their umbrella. Okay. So these are possessive adjectives, right? All of them are possessive adjectives. Como les decía, pues a veces van al principio, right? Si usted se ve aquí, my umbrella, I umbrella, right? Y a veces pues va, pues... En medio, right? Sometimes. Por ejemplo, I am in my house. You are in your house. Yes. Uh, y also pueden ir aquí, mire. Ayúdeme, Eva, a leer este vocabulary que está aquí. My hands, continue. Eva Ordóñez. Hi, teacher, no le escuché, lo oí cortado. Oh, I'm sorry. Ayúdame a leer este vocabulary que está aquí. Please, thank you.
parece que él no me escucha. Karina, ayúdeme, please. Help me out. Read this vocabulary, Karina. My hand or clothes, his new car, your best friend, her parents, they room. Very good, right? Mira esta hermosa expresión que está aquí, la que ocupamos en el trabajo, right? Cuando está su, con su coworker y va el jefe por ahí, le decimos, mira, ahí viene your best friend. Yes, right? Ahí viene <laughs> your best friend, right? <laughs> sí. So, your best friend. Right? So, mira aquí los posesivos están al principio, at the beginning, right? Yes. Cuando usted llega a un montón de pupusas ahí, right? Y usted ve las de revueltas, oh, my pupusas, right? Your pupusas, right? His pupusas, her pupusas, right? So, this is the way we use the possessive. El que más ocupamos es el possessive adjectives. Yes? Right? Luego está el, el, el possessive pronouns y luego está el, el possessive names. Okay? Yes? So, practicar. Here we go. Okay. Oswaldo. Please. Number one, Oswaldo. Thank you so much. Um, you read eight? Yes, number one, please. This one. Okay. Okay, here. He's. Oh, the question. Oh, no, no, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, this one, this one. Okay. Whose jacket is this? Is it? Who's Ethan? Eh, no. no, sorry. No, porque who se lo ocupamos aquí. Ah. Mm -hmm. His. Is it is Ethan? Eh, no, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Is it yours, Ethan? Oh, Elizabeth. That was very good. Is it yours? Is it yours? Okay. Very good. Is it yours? Continue, Oswaldo. Thank you so much. No, it's not my... No. Yes, yes. Very good. Very my... good. Eva. Fine. Very good as well. Very good. Yeah. Continue. I no, it's not mine as mad. I think it is his. Very good. That is correct. His. Okay. Perfect as well. That was very good. Yes. Ahora, ¿cómo nos ayuda a identificar? Se fijaron en la posición que estaba, right? Anterior. Si ustedes se fijan, miren, aquí está al final, is, yours, mine. Estos tres son possessive adjectives o possessive pronouns, Oswaldo. Uh -huh. ¿Cuáles son? Possessive adjectives o possessive pronouns. Possessive adjective. No, I'm sorry. Son... Possessive pronouns. Okay. Um, it's, si usted okay. se fija, yeah. mire, normalmente van al final. Yeah. De la sí, sentence. sí. Exacto. Right? Como van al final de la sentence, serían possessive pronouns. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ahora, si fueran en, en, at the beginning, en el principio o en medio, probably ahí serían possessive. Possessive. Mm -hmm. Possessive value. Okay. Possessive okay. value. Very good. Thank you. Number two, Hugo. Uh, number two. Number two. Yes, um, number two. These aren't um, yours, Claude. No, I'm sorry. Mine. Okay, so what is it? That's Claudia, okay? <laughs> Very good. Mine. Okay, continue. Hugo. Sorry. Bye. Thank you. These aren't my gloves. Um, are they uh, yours? 
Repeat, repeat. Are they your? No, I'm sorry. Elija otra opción. Um, sí, serían hair. Sí, o hair. Uh, are they hair? I, are they... No, I'm sorry. No, no, es, 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 es plural, ¿verdad? Yes, very good, very it's good. It's yours, it's yours. Yes, very good. It's yours, yours, right? Very good. Mm -hmm. No, este... Um, um, no, son... No son estos, o sea, no... No tienen... No, eh, Tails. No, I'm sorry. Solo, solo tiene estas opciones. Estas opciones, here. Here's. Mine? Sería. Yes, no, that is correct. No, mine. No, yes. tail, not mine. Mine. Very good. Yes, ok. Ahora, Hugo, estos que puso aquí al final son possessive adjectives o possessive pronouns? Um, son possessive uh, pronouns. ¿Por qué? Why? Tell me why. Este, porque los, ad, los adjectives son los I. Yo, eso es, sin, es singular, ¿no? Entonces, Porque estoy... está en el final de la oración. Ah, viendo lo de la, de la regla, sí. Yes. Very good, Hugo. Very good. Si usted se fija, pues, pues como lo escribimos es different, right? Tenemos yours mm -hmm. y aquí tenemos mine. That is very good. Also, Ricardo mentioned, como van al final de la sentence, ¿sí? Es más seguro que sea un possessive pronoun. ¿Ok? Ahora, si va en medio, mira aquí, tenemos gloves y tenemos my. Y entonces va en medio, right? Va entre el word to be y las palabras. Ok. Perfect. Um, let me see. Ok. Stephanie, Carolina. El number three is for you, Stephanie. Number three, Stephanie. Thank you. Ok. Uh, theaters, water, taste, sweaters, artists. No, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Um, Who's? Sweaters. Very good. Who's? 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 Whose who sweaters are these? Are they Russia? No, they are not uh, mine. No, no, they are not my sweaters. No, tiene que ocupar este vocabulary. Ah, no, solo... Este vocabulary. Ok, yes. Um, hmm? Hair. Very good. Yes. Carry on. Carry on. Both t shirts are hairs. Beautiful. Yes. That was great. Okay, that was great. Again, this is like, for me, well, for me, la clave está, como dijo Ricardo, right? Cuando vaya al final, es un possessive pronoun. Cuando vaya en medio, right? Y como acá, por ejemplo, tengo sweaters al final y en medio, pues ahí voy a poner un possessive adjective. Yes? Right? Entonces, ¿qué indico? Siempre indico posesión. Yes, siempre indico posesión, right? Okay. 
Ahora, um, uno va al final, otro va en medio, y este con names que siempre va a ir con el apóstol. Ok. Let me see what else do we have. Very good, very good. Ok. Me a minute. Oh my gosh, what is the, what is the material? I have the material here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's begin with practice. Okay. Uh, tell me, Oswaldo. Give me like. Tell me one example with possessive adjective. Thanks. The possessive. Possessive adjective right now. Please. Okay. Mm. Okay, do, do you need help? Uh, Osvaldo, do you need help? Yes. Okay, perfect. Melissa Lopez, thank you. Give us the light. Thank you. Give, a, give me an example with possessive value. Possessive entity. Mm. This is my cat. Okay, so this is my cat. Not that one? Uh, with your. Um, these shoes. No, no, no. They are his shoes. No, 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 no. Um, no. Uh, is your brother okay? Sure. Is, is okay, give me a minute because I need capital letter. So, this is your brother, okay? Yes, that is correct. Thank you so much, Karina. Continue, please, Karina. Mm -hmm. These are my socks. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, Karina, there is an example girl that's tying on material. Okay. <laughs> that's very good. It is correct. It is correct, but it's tying on material. Okay. <laughs> so, no. So. <laughs> no se le cambie el giro. <laughs> oh, that's very nice. That's very nice. Okay. Very good, very good. Don't worry. Vamos a pedirle a Xiomara. Ayúdeme, Xiomara. Deme esos adjectives. Lo que estamos hablando, please. Deme la lista de los adjectives. Uh -huh. El primero es my. ¿Cuál es el otro? Is you, 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 your. Uh -huh. His. Yes. Her. Yes. Is. Are. Days. Oh my gosh. Our, you told me? Ours. And there, right? And there. Very good. Thank you so much, Kimara. So, estos son los possessive adjectives. Very good, Kimara. Wonderful. Yes. Entonces, mire, aquí ya eh, Melissa utilizó my y utilizó yours. Okay. Yes. Right, Karina? ¿Estás bien ahí? Ahí lo borré todo. <laughs> so, okay, don't worry, okay, I'm sorry, sometimes I made a mistake. Pedro, ayúdeme con un ejemplo, Pedro, please, thank you. Help me out with one example. Mm -hmm. This is, this is my car. Perfect. This is my car. Ya no gastamos my. Ahora vamos a ocupar otro. Ok. David Cepeda, thank you. David, creo que no le sirve Mike. Eh, Ricardo, thank you, Ricardo. Give me one example. 
please, with possessive adjective. Eva, Ordoñez. Mm -hmm. Este. Chairs. Ajá. Uh -huh. No. <risa> bueno, los possessive adjectives pueden ir al principio o pueden ir en medio. ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Cuando va al principio es más fácil. ¿Yes? Cuando va al principio es más fácil. ¿vale? Entonces yo puedo decir, Karina, your best friend. ¿Yes? ¿Right? Cuando va al principio. Her is my brother. Um, uh, no, en este contexto, I'm sorry, porque tenemos que poner un, un objeto. Maybe, maybe, maybe puedo decir, maybe puedo decir, he is. Brother. ¿Ok? Ahí. Yes. ¿Ok? Right. Puedes decir also her mother. ¿Ok? Right. Ahora, las que estoy haciendo solo con los, mire, solo con esto, eso no es una oración completa, sino que son phrases. Yes. Right. Una oración completa es la primera que me dio your classmate. This is my car. Okay. Entonces, podría ser her. Eh, quiero ver. Ajá. No, 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 no le voy a decir. Eh, no tiene zapatos café, pero no sé oh, cómo. Es. Es, que, es que ahí me está poniendo tener. El verbo tener es diferente. Ok. Ah, ok. Y es. Déjenme sí, Claudia. Ayúdeme, Claudia. Voy a complementar esto. His brother. Ahora. ¿Qué me dijo de su brother? No, his brother. Ok. No. Ok. His brother. His brother is small. Oh. No. Short. Vamos a comparar short. Ok. Short. Short. Brother is short. Ahí es una sentence porque tiene un verbo. Mire. Yes, right. Her mother. Mm -hmm. Her mother is serious. Very good. Is serious. Serious, right? Very good. Ahí es una sentence, right? Very good. Okay. Tenemos is, que nos, nos toca it's. Okay. ¿Cuál es el next one? Mm -hmm. It's. Ok, vamos a pasarnos easy, vamos con our y luego there. Mm -hmm. It's park, park is green. Oh, excuse me. It's park, park is green. Mm, no, porque estamos hablando siempre de la backpack, right? It's backpack is green. So uh, it, it doesn't make sense, the, the sentence, you know what I mean? Okay. Yes. Yes. I, I, I don't know if you, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, maybe. Teacher. Yes. Y estaría bien decir. It is. These are our cats. Oh, yes. Correct. These are our cats. Like that one, yes. Mm -hmm. These are our Thank cats. That is correct. Pedro? Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay.
Okay, what about there? What do we have okay. there? Any idea? Sí, siempre traten, bueno, por ejemplo, el, el, el más basic es este, que va al principio, like there. Oh my gosh, <laughs> there, okay, there. Y luego después del there, yo le pongo, pues, el objeto, right? There are computers, okay, no sé. Car, okay. They are, I don't know, let's say room, or lo que yo quiera, right? Después del there, okay? Y luego dejar, their computer is black, okay? Como ahorita están en básico, pues vamos a utilizar bastante el verb to be, right? The verb to be nos ayuda para indicar possessive, right? So the, their computer is black, yes, right? So, um, this is the way we use possessive adjective, okay? Ahora también lo puedo poner como, like, in the middle, okay? Um, like, uh, let me see. Um, see, like, like the way we have in the example, right? Uh, I don't know. Those, oh my gosh. So, are uh, hair, I don't know, um, I don't know, cell phones, okay, websites, yes, uh, we can have it like this one, right, aquí lo tenemos en medio, right, en esta parte de acá, yes, here, so, those are her cell phones, yes, aquí lo tenemos at the beginning, en el principio, Luego tenemos el object, right? Y luego tenemos el rest. So, so we can communicate about possessive de estas dos formas cuando tenemos un possessive adjective como este que está acá. Okay? This is one okay. way that we can use possessive. Right? Okay? Ahora, el que más les recomiendo yo que ocupen, right? Es este que está aquí. Right? Para que usted practique. Y es, entonces usted va cerca de su casa, right? Y dice, oh, your name is Andrea. Her name is, I don't know, Melissa, right? His name is Carlos. Yes, you are my father. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, it's a part Oops, I'm sorry. No, <laughs> the, you are his father. That's not that, okay? Uh, okay, your father is... Um, <laughs> Your father is tall. Yeah, I see a pain, right? Your father is tall. Yes. Uh, their room is, I don't know, dirty. Um, I don't know. Their computer is on. Their computer is, I don't know, black, and so on and so on. Okay. Yes. O, o puede decir, my cat is beautiful, my house is big, my car is fast. Yes, with, with possessive, right? My name is, like Emily. Hi, my name is, hi. Espero que no me bloquee en el, el, el video, ¿ok? No vayas a bloquear Emily. Emily. No vayas a bloquear Emily, ¿ok? I'm, I'm just trying to teach. Yes, entonces, el que más les recomiendo yo para que empiece a practicar usted es cuando va al principio, right? ¿Sí? En el trabajo practique, ¿vale? Cuando va el jefe ahí, mira, ahí viene your best friend, right? Yes, so, so you can practice like that, ¿ok? Y, claro, este que está aquí, ejemplo que está acá, es un poquito más complejo, si usted se fija, right? Claro, de esto va a haber un montón, yes. But this one es un poquito más complejo y usted lo puede ir practicando, pues, despacio, despacio. Ahí ¿vale? no es que este, esto ya lo va a agarrar la primera, ¿ok? Melissa, ayúdeme con los possessive pronouns, please. Thank you. Uh, my. Oh, give me a minute. Give me a minute. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Give me a minute because I, I'm getting the thing. Okay. Me dijo mine. Mm -hmm. Yours. Excuse me? Yours. Yours. Thank you. Hers. Hers. His. His. Theirs. The, theirs. 
ours. Ours. Very good. It's. It's, right? Thank you so much. Yes? Entonces, ¿qué hace usted? Ahí está, cosas. Está bien. Yo estoy por ahora. Espérame que lo voy a cambiar. Ahí está. Yes. Very good. ¿Qué hace usted? Bueno, pues va a utilizar estos normalmente siempre al final. ¿Ok? Entonces, aquí yo digo, mire, this is my car. ¿Ok? Ahora yo puedo decir that. Oh, my gosh. That red car is. Y le agrego el possessive adjective al final. My. Yes. Right. That red car is mine. Entonces, en la mayoría de veces con el possessive, possessive pronoun, va a ir la mayoría de veces al final. Right? Yes. Aquí tenemos your best friend. ¿Sí? Vengo yo y puedo decir. Ok, it's yours. ¿Sí? I'm sorry, okay? Viene Oswaldo, right? Está trabajando acá con Hugo. Viene Oswaldo y le dice a Hugo, hey, mira, allá viene your best friend, right? Allá viene your best friend. Y viene Hugo y le dice, no, it's yours, le dice, right? <laughs> ¿Sí? ¿Se fija? Yes, right? <laughs> ¿Sí? Uno le dice, hey, ven a tu mejor amigo. Y otro le dice, el tuyo. El yes. tuyo. <laughs> exactly, right? So, <laughs> because it makes sense, right? Entonces, your best friend is yours. Yes? Así es como se... <laughs> Solo planeé, salió like... Los botanios. <laughs> yes? It is yours, right? Yes? Your best friend is yours. Okay? Very good. His brother. Then we have his brother. Okay. Okay. Aquí vamos a hacerlo diferente porque no podemos hacer. Okay. No, no pega. No pega. Okay. So, um, let me see. Okay. With his. With, I'm sorry. With hers. Okay. Oh, yes. That. Computer, oh my gosh, computer is hers. Okay, that computer is hers. Yes? So we have the possessive siempre va a ir al final, right? Mine, yours, hers. Okay. And this is the way we use it. Possessive, possessive adjectives, and possessive pronouns. Por eso les decía, los que son un poquito más difíciles son los possessive pronouns, pero también son los más fáciles porque siempre van a ir al final. Okay. En la gramática son un poquito más easy porque usted va a decir, ah, cuando esté en un examen, pues si es un possessive adjective, possessive pronoun, perdón, siempre va a ir at the end, at the end of the... Uh, of the sentence, para indicar possessive, ¿ok? Y luego teníamos uno que era con los names, ¿ok? Teníamos, por ejemplo, um, I don't know, uh, Anna, right? Anna's apostrophe S, y luego ponía el objeto, ¿yes? Aquí es un poquito más fácil, porque solo digo, es pues, el nombre de la persona, y luego el object, right? Carlos, Carlos, eh, car. Yes? Yes? Entonces, así indico possessive con los names. Ahora, cuando tengo Carlos, un nombre que termine con S, mire dónde puse el apóstrofe, después de la letter S. Right? Porque, pues, en la pronunciación, Carlos termina con una S. Entonces, no le puedo poner la apóstrofe y la S, sino que solo me voy con el apóstrofe y la letra S. Ahora, si por ejemplo tengo Hugo, yes, ahí sí, right? Hugo's car. Yes. 
easy porque termina en O. Apostrophe S. Also, I can say Maria. Okay. Marias. I don't know. Let's say dog. Yes. Marias dog. Okay. So, con los names, así es como indico possessive, que le pertenece a esa persona. Okay. Ahora también puedo decir, I don't know. Um, um, uh, my brothers. Okay. My brother's house. Okay. My brother's house. Miren, tengo la palabra brother y luego la apóstrofe y luego la letter S. La casa de my brother. My, my brother's house. Yes. My wife. <laughs> okay, so this is the way I do it, right? With possessive. Aquí incluyo este que es my. Puedo decir my brother's house. Okay. O también puedo decir, let me see. Um, um, Te falta la R, brother. Oh, yes. <laughs> También puedo decir the students, ok. Students. Uh, I don't know. Class. Yes. Classroom, ok. The students' classroom. Yes. Right. So, uh, puedo utilizarlo también así. Siempre indico possessive, right? Uh, with this one. But at the end, at the end, usted lo puede ocupar eh, como como usted quiera, right? Ok, ahora, give me a minute. Voy a borrar esto. Yes. Voy a borrar yes. esto. Ok, perfecto. Ahora, con la cuestión que teníamos, ok, teníamos una cuestión que era, ah, oh, Jesus. My gosh, tengo que borrarlo ahí. Like this one. Espérame, espérame, give me a minute. Ok, I'm sorry. Con la cuestión que teníamos, que la palabra para hacer cuestión es esta, right? Who's Who's, siempre cuando vamos con who's es porque es para possessive. Ok, whose computer, mire, es this. Ok. Usted puede contestar, oh, that is my computer. Yes. Oh, you can say, that is mine. Yes. O puede decir, that um that's it eh, carlos okay yes puede contestar de las tres formas cuando le pregunten whose computer is this yes con cuál se va a quedar con el que usted quiera con el que usted se sienta más cómodo right yes that is my computer that's mine okay ahora claro aquí las respuestas pueden cambiar right por ejemplo, puedo decir, oh, that is, um, no sé, Ana's uh, computer, right? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Ana's computer. Yeah. That's Ana's computer. Yes. Right. Uh, this is the way we can do it. Acuérdese, who's siempre va a ir para indicar a quién le pertenece algo, o ya sea singular o plural. Who's, I don't know, um, uh, let's say books, okay, are these, okay? Whose books are these, right? So you can use this are, porque la palabra here, books, is plural, okay? Ahora, como es plural, tengo que comenzar con plural, right? They are eh, I don't know. Andreas, right? Andreas. Okay. Books. They are Andreas. Okay. You, uh, you can answer like that. Or uh, those. Uh, those are yours. Okay. Easy like that, right? At the end, again, con cual se va a quedar, pues, con el que usted se sienta cómodo. Oh my gosh, it's time to go to bed. Yes, let's rest a little bit 
so you can get some money tomorrow at work and be ready for your next class at nine o'clock tomorrow. Ricardo and people, everybody, good night. Rest good night. We'll see, see you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.